I want the county to recognize the shrinking availability of performance and rehearsal space. That's Albert Silas, president of the St. Augustine Epicenter for Arts and Culture in Romanza, St. Augustine. He's interested in what becomes of World Golf Village. He talks more about his vision. I want them to be aware of the basic disparate need for performing and rehearsal space. It doesn't have to be a performing arts center. It can be a community center. And not just a community center, but they probably need five or six of them scattered around the county. This would be a good start. Two meetings will be held next week where the public can give input on what becomes of the site. The first meeting is Wednesday, September 27th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. And the second is Thursday, September 28th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Both meetings will be held in the St. John's County Public Administration Building Auditorium. Meetings will also be live-streamed and available for video playback. If you can't make it, voice your opinion on the county's website by September 30th. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. We're cooking with gas. In this economic times, it's unbelievable. Vice Mayor of St. Augustine Beach, Dylan Rumrell, tells Liz Ryan all about the good news. When do you ever hear about taxes actually going down? Well, you're about to if you live in the city of St. Augustine Beach. They've set the millage rate at 2.80, and that's down from 2.95. I asked the vice mayor how they did it kind of like a household budget. You have your needs and you have your wants. So let's look at what our needs are and let's tackle our needs. It's really just crunching numbers. Patty, our CFO, has done an outstanding job of really putting the numbers together and then presenting us with a budget. And my fellow commissioners, I applaud every one of them for making this tough decision in an economic time, but the right decision for our residents of St. Augustine Beach. The proposed millage rate for the city of St. Augustine is 7.5. And for the county, it's 6.8265. So why is the city of St. Augustine Beach so low at 2.8? The city of St. Augustine and us, you know, we're a little bit different. We're two square miles, and we don't really have any churches and or schools, right? So we don't have a college. We don't have stuff like that. So there's not a lot really to take away from taxing. And so we're able then to keep our millage rate low. And the county, obviously, you know, it's a, it's a larger municipality. And there's so many more roads, so many more things that they have to take care of. He stresses the importance of carefully reading your trim notice, truth and millage, when it hits your mailbox. It breaks down the value of your house. It then shows you where the money, the millage that, you know, the school board has a millage, the police and fire have a millage. And then I tell people, make sure you are homesteaded. If this is your primary property, it is important because you get that 25000 For unmarried, 50,000 for married deduction when you file. The new millage rate will be officially adopted at their September 25th meeting. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. A huge celebration is planned for today to mark the anniversary of the Treaty of Moultrie Creek. St. John's County is hosting tribal leaders and state officials for a historic flag-raising ceremony to mark the 200th anniversary of the Treaty of Moultrie Creek signing on September 18th at 9.30 in the morning at Treaty Park in St. Augustine. Leaders from all four Native American nations affected by the treaty will be together for the first time in two centuries. Leaders of the Muscogee Creek Nation the Seminole Tribe of Florida, the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, and the Miccosukee Tribe of Indians of Florida will offer remarks and raise their respective nation's flags over Treaty Park. The chairman of the St. John's County Board of Commissioners and a county commission board member are also among those scheduled to speak. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.